Use it as an indicator. The more boxes that are filled, the more need is out there. For Tara Magana, a lot. It's too much. Um, we are currently serving um, about 100 households a day. Magana works for Integrated Family Community Services, or IFCS, a nonprofit that doubled the number of families they give groceries to in just two months. Because people say these are great for oatmeal or smoothies. But as the need jumps, the support drops. And so we had enjoyed spending around $30,000 a month to purchase the right food for our participants. And we will be lucky if we can spend 15,000 a month and that's stretching what we believe our funding will be this year. Allison Taggart is the program director. She says local support as well as federal dollars they received during the pandemic have dried up. Now she has the task of serving bad news. Beginning January 2nd, we will let all of our participants know that come February, they may be limited to once a month. If you had been coming once a week, this is a dramatic change for your family. Families have been struggling for months. As grocery prices have surged, more have looked for help for the first time. 25% of the people coming in are new right now. Um, having never visited either us or another food pantry in the metro. If these boxes are any indicator, it's obvious help is desperately needed. We're going to add but how they continue to be filled going forward quite the big bag remains unknown. How we go forward is, is a question we have yet to answer. The increase in grocery prices have also impacted how much the food pantry can buy. IFCS tells us what was once a $15 case of eggs now goes for $94. They hope some local support will keep them from limiting the number of visits to the food pantry. Kyle. And Julissa, you think about the same scene playing out in so many different neighborhoods around Colorado as a lot of people dealing with the same challenges. Yeah, exactly. And it's interesting, this, this local nonprofit actually expanded recently, so they're helping all of Colorado right now. All right, Julissa, thank you.